it's Whitney from Creative Adventures and tonight I'm going to be talking about how my family cooks a turkey for Thanksgiving. Now it's only Tuesday night before Thanksgiving so all we have to do tonight is get it out of the deep freeze and let it thaw. Now my family does something a little different with their turkey so you're just going to have to stay tuned to see what that is. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, it's Whitney and it is Wednesday night and our turkey has been thawing for 24 hours. To continue this video, I'm going to be showing you how to pull out the neck and the goodies that are in there. Then I'm going to be showing you how I prepare my turkey for my family's dinner. So thank you for staying tuned. Hey guys, okay so I got the turkey in the sink and I'm going to be cutting open the weird little wrapper thing they have on it. I could not find any scissors so I opted with a knife. So if you do use a knife, please be careful. So we're going to pop this like this. Get it off of there. And then we're going to get this off of here. While you're doing it, try not to cut your turkey. You don't want to poke in too many holes in it yet. Alright, put my knife right there. Get my bird out. Alright, so your bird is out of the wrapper. Now, most people know this, but they do have a little button uh, thing for the temperature. So when your bird is done cooking, this will pop up. Okay, now I'm going to reach in here and get the neck and the fun stuff. Okay. Mine wants to fight me a little bit. Ugh. There we go. So this is the neck. It's a little frozen steel, which is okay. Came right out. That is the neck. Some people use this for gravy. I don't. You can cook it. That's what they put it in there for. I'm just going to throw that right there. I'm going to reach in here. And I think they put the bag of goodies on the other side. So we're going to lift this flap up and get the goodie bag. Now, my first time cooking a turkey, I forgot these in there. So it is really important to get these out. And like I said, people use those for gravy. Now, I will be going to my next step. Continue watching. Alright guys, so we've got our turkey out of the packaging. And I've let the blood drain out of it for a few minutes. So I'm going to tell you one of the tricks that my family does that I learned about five years ago. We like our breasts on our turkey to be moist. So instead of doing it the traditional way like this, we turn our turkey upside down to where the wings are on top. Now, what I do is I take my butter that I have already sitting over here, and I open it up, and I start shoving it all over it and inside of it. Now, if you don't like a lot of butter, that's okay. This is just how my family prefers it. I'm going to just put it right here just to make sure, and I'm going to squish it down just to make sure it gets in the pores of the turkey. I don't want to contaminate anything. So, and I'm going to make sure my hole is open, which is on this side, where we got all the stuff out earlier. And I'm going to put some butter in there. And I'm just going to keep doing that for a few minutes. Alright, I think that's enough butter for maybe just a little bit more. Right there. Alright, now, I like to put whole garlics on my turkey which look like this some people don't know what garlic looks fresh garlic looks like so I've already peeled this and I'm going to just start putting it on it so it get that garlic flavor like that now I did now I did want to show you what fresh garlic looks like before you peel it because some people just don't know what it looks like or what it is so it's really easy. You just pull it back and get inside of the shell. 
and you get the garlic clove out and then you take a knife and you press down I'll do it right here so you can see like that you heard the crunch on it that was the shell breaking and we just peel it off my hands are still a little buttery so this makes this just a little bit slippery which is okay because it's going to go right on my turkey with the rest of it so you have your shell and you have your your garlic clove i'm just going to put it right there now a few more that i'm going to put on the inside of my turkey because i really want this turkey to be garlicky Okay, now that. Now, I like to add a few extra seasonings. I'm going to wash my hands really quick so I don't get butter everywhere. I like to use season salt to put it on top of it. Just a sprinkle or how much ever you want to put on there. Everybody's taste buds are different. Then I like to put a little Old Bay. And I sprinkle that on there. And I like to put just a little bit of chili powder just to give it that extra flavor. And a little bit of Montreal. Really want this bird to have lots of flavor. Now, I'm going to put just a little bit of pepper on there because I did forget that. All right, so now what you do is you just cover it up and stick it in the oven, and I will show you what my end result will be. Stay tuned.